Hello, my name is Stella Hewer. I am from Edgenique and I am the Stress Whisperer. Today I want to talk to you about some interesting words we all use. And these words can be red flags, highlighting something could be wrong, perhaps with our motivation. What are these words? The word must. I must do something. I should do something. I have to do something. Those words can be true red flags because they could highlight that our motivation is based in fear, shame and obligation. Now, yes, we do all have obligations and yes, there are things we must do, we should do and we have to do. But a lot of our motivations when we use those words could be because we have the sense of obligation, we have this and it's really almost a dysfunctional way of being because it's not honoring who we are and what we want to do. Now, I'm not saying that in this life we only do what we want to do. That's, that's just totally um, not it. But we could have a sense of always needing to please somebody else or to fulfill their needs. And so we enable people in a way to, to be useless and to sit and wait for someone to rescue them. And then we begin to think it's our obligation, I must do this for them. I need to rescue that person. I need to go and do this for them. Shame, they need this. Now, we, as I said, we're not talking about situations where someone's in trouble and they need our assistance as humans. That's human kindness and compassion. So we're not talking about those scenarios. We're talking about when, we, when everything within us is resisting but we feel like I must go and do something. And it's really not what we want to do. Maybe we've said yes to something that we should have said no to. Now we feel like we have to do it. But our motivation is based in fear, pleasing others, in shame. And there was another one, an obligation and guilt. And those things are highly detrimental to our emotional well-being. So we need to think very carefully, what are the words we're using and why are we using them? Are we doing this out of choice because we love someone or be and because there's a genuine need that we need to do something? Or are we basing our decisions and our actions on obligations? Because those things take huge emotional energy. And they really are red flags. And in the long term, they really are denying who we personally are. And we're not honoring and validating our own feelings and perhaps not even seeing to our own needs. And this can lead to depression and burnout. And I've certainly walked that road. And some of the contributing factors are the sense of obligation that I need to do something for somebody. I need to fulfill others' needs. And I kind of learned from my background that my needs were unimportant. My needs were selfish. And I've had to learn the hard way that it's my job to get back in my own skin and to honor my own feelings. And that my needs are as important as someone else's needs. And that it's not selfish to look after myself and to not be driven by the sense of guilt and obligation. So I think that's a lot of food for thought. And I hope that you enjoy thinking about that. And I, as I said, I'm Stella. I am the Stress Whisperer. And I help people on an individual basis through online sessions of looking at what is stressing you. And what can we do to, to build resilience in going on in life and to grow? So that's my message for today. I hope you have an awesome day and I will be back. Bye for now.